Hey YouTubers, Hangster here, and as promised, I have my uh, movie review for the latest release of this past weekend, other than Doctor Strange, starring a Benedict Cumberbund as Doctor Strange, along with uh, Mads Milkson, uh, Rachel McAdams, and Tilda Swinson as the Ancient One. And by the way, I'm going to make a note here. Um, I think she's the same actress who played... Uh, the, the elder female elf in The Lord of the Rings and also in uh, um, Hobbit. Uh, Galadria, I, think, I believe it was. Um, this time she kind of shaved her head and made her look like the One Punch Man from the Skate Cop Popper here from, an, from anime. You know, she, <laughs> um, but uh, let's get on to the movie. Of course, as I said, this is uh, only the first weekend. I did catch this Sunday. Uh, on Sunday night, well, Sunday evening on uh, November the 6th, and this review will be coming out around November the 7th, and all, so, uh, yay for me. <laughs> now, the premise of plot is, it centers around uh, Dr. S uh, Stephen Strange, a neurological doctor who, um, he's pretty much, he's kind of full of himself, he, he um, Kind of picks and chooses who what kind of uh, surgery he's going to get himself into, and uh, and uh, basically on the way to some sort of big ceremony in his honor, he get, he winds up in a traffic accident which uh, smashes his fa hands so badly that he can no longer use them for his job, and he of course uses all the resources he can as you know the Western medicine that can help him, and um, he of course uh, finds out that uh, uh, somebody had uh, uh, was completely paralyzed and he was taking it out to to the Far East which was basically near Kathmandu um, and basically when he returned he was healed he could walk and you know and he was yeah, basically something that, something there healed him so Take the remaining resources he could ha get his hands on. Doctor Strange, of course, winds up in this mysterious town and meets up with a society of uh, magic users uh, uh, being taught by a being known as the Ancient One, um, who, uh, um, of course, first she doesn't feel he feel he's worthy of his, his ego and everything, and he basically his mind is set mostly set in the. Uh, uh, the real, so-called real world, and all, uh, and even after he starts believing, after this, this little uh, taste of the magic, she basically refuses, still refuses to let him in until um, his persistence uh, cha helps her change his, her mind, and and all. <laughs> um, of course, this is these. It's, 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 it's like a society almost. But their mission is to guard Earth from uh, evil forces from alternate dimensions, including, of course, this being known as Dormammu, who is a ruler of a universe which devours worlds, and he adds them to his collection somewhat. Uh, he, uh, of course, uh, has uh, followers. Um, like, for example... A former pupil of the ancient one known as Calisius. Uh, okay, I don't really know if I can pronounce this right. Um, just, uh, hmm. sorry if I mispronounce that name, but you know, and he and his uh, followers are basically also uh, zealots of of uh, Dormammu uh, basically are set to destroy these these three uh, magical buildings that control the force shields on Earth to prevent Dormammu from overtaking the Earth. Uh, one in London, one in Hong Kong, and one in um, New York. Now, of course, he... Now, of course, he's not an easy student to put up with. He, of course, he's... He, he has to learn, and basically when he finally does learn some, he basically he, uh, uh, it, it pushes him in the right direction in his in his learnings, and uh, and all until the day when uh, 
the three pillars, one of the three pillars were being overtaken um, by Dormammu's forces. And, um, oh, by the way, the uh, leader of the, uh, as I said uh, there, he, he, of course, is played by the same actor who played Hannibal Lecter in that Hannibal television series from NBC uh, a year or so ago. Um, I, I recognize that. Oh, yeah, it's him. <laughs> I just want to throw that out to you. Um, now, I don't want to get too much away being this is the first weekend. I don't want to get, you know, too much away. But it's basically, the movie just centers around how he learns how to control his magic and also how he uh, um, gets his special cloak to help him fly um, and all that. Um, it basically realizes there's more things to this world than just what he wants to control and, and all. And, uh, so, uh, basically, and of course he, he resumes his new life as this sort of guardian sorcerer, um, after his battle with Dormammu and all. I don't want to give too much away, you just have to go see this movie. And by the way, this is, uh, out in 2D and 3D, I do suggest to, for you all to, uh, see this movie in 3D. Uh, because the effects will, will not be as good otherwise. I mean, the, the magical effects and the, uh, the the background effects and everything is, is just enough for you to see this in 3D. Um, now, of course, probably this movie won't be out on home video until sometime in January or, or February or anything. But, uh, like I say, it was a great movie, and of course it does tie in to other movies like, of course, The Avengers and, and Thor and everything. And, by the way, there is a little bit of a tie-in between uh, uh, Doctor Strange. He does meet up with an Avenger. I'm not going to give away who he talked to at the very near the very end of the movie. Uh, but there is a special guest, the Avenger, uh, just all I'm going to say, in the end of the movie. Uh, that uh, requires his help, and he, you know, he's going to go join us. So, you might be, might be seeing him in another movie in the near future. Uh, but they, they said that the Doctor Strange will be back um, and all. Uh, but I gotta say, special effects, great. Definitely see this in 3D. Uh, it, you know, it just wouldn't be the same. You know, it's gonna be kind of tricky to see this in 2D when you get it home on uh, even on Blu-ray. But. Uh, Uh, but uh, uh, Benedict was great as this role. I think he was made for this role. Uh, I mean, I never watched his version of the, the Sherlock Holmes series on BBC. Uh, I still have yet to watch Star the, the second Star Trek movie with him as Khan. Uh, well, I just see, see his movie. He's pretty good in, but uh, you know what I mean. But uh, as I said, just check out this movie. Uh, I'm, 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 it's no doubt this probably this movie is going to be the number one movie of the weekend, um, and of course uh, I might be getting my hands on some uh, Doctor Strange action fi collectible action figures that are already been sent out to uh, uh, check out. So keep an eye out for that. Do we do have some more uh, um, review videos? Uh, just try to round this year. I'm trying to get some. You know, try to get caught up here, um, but uh, I just keep, I did keep my word to have my, uh, did do this done as soon as I saw this movie, and I did manage to see it during the first weekend, so yay for me, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this little review, and uh, stay tuned here for more reviews and whatnot here on the Multiverse. See ya. In more news, Trump, Trump, Trump. 